everyone, it's Yiki here. So uh, today, like I said with my last video that I did way too long ago, I'm so sorry at how long of a hiatus it's been. Um, I just got really busy and kind of life happened and I'm sorry, but here we go. We're going to start this up again. Hopefully I'll be able to get you guys one to two videos a month and um, we'll be able to teach you what you want to know and uh, maybe even experience new things together. So. Um, with that, we're going to go ahead and start today off with washing a wig. Um, this will also be like kind of a series, so we'll do wig washing, wig care, wig styling, all that fun stuff. Um, so with today being the main focus is wig washing, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure is that you have your sink nice and clean. Um, I may or may not have just frantically cleaned my sink for this moment. Uh, so you know, it happens. It can be done really quick. So you're going to want to have a clean sink, some fabric softener. I just happen to use Target's generic one. And then some baby shampoo. Uh, it doesn't have to be name brand. This one is very clearly Walmart's. I've had this one forever. Um, but that's all you're going to need. And then of course, your wig. Alright, so as we can see here, my wig is really nasty like it's it's bad um, this week has seen some better days uh, it's been through a couple of dances a couple shows uh, and of course wearing it to conventions so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and wash this one and follow it through its journey of washing detangling and restyling through our series of videos so to start off I'm just gonna fill our sink with lukewarm water. It's also important if your wig has any uh, curl, any preferred styling to it, um, that you make sure that the water runs a little bit colder. Heat has a tendency with synthetic fibers to remove the curl in them. You can put the curl back in at a later time, but if you'd rather not worry about it, I would just wash it in colder water. So while the water is still running, you're going to put just a tiny bit of fabric softener in. Yeah. And then of course, tiny bit of baby shampoo. Now I just prefer to use baby shampoo. You can use um, baby shampoo. I know hair and tail or mane and tail might be what it is. Uh, it's a horse-based shampoo, or a horse-based. Um, it's a shampoo for, uh, I mean, it's mane, yeah, it is mane and tail. Um, you can use that as well uh, to wash your wigs out. They'll also make it nice and soft. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our wig we're going to just submerge it. Now I seem to be having it. So we're going to let that sit for just a minute. And then what you're going to want to do is kind of actuate it yourself, almost like a washing machine. And then at this point, I would leave it in for about 10 to 15 minutes just to let it work itself out. If you need to put a little more water in, Go ahead. All 
All right, so now that some time's elapsed, uh, we'll go ahead and keep working with this. So it's been sitting in here for about 15 minutes, maybe a little more. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just slowly rinse this out. So I'm gonna take this out. We're gonna go ahead and rinse. Once again, if you have curls, only use a uh, lukewarm water or cold water. Since this one doesn't really have much styling or much curls, I'm just using a warmer water for my hands to not freeze. And I'm just gonna rinse everything out. So there's a couple ways you can dry your wig off. Absolutely do not brush your wig until it has 100% dry. You will run the risk of pulling out more fibers than you actually intend to, um, thus making you have a bald wig. Um, so let's go ahead and wring this out just a little bit. As you can see, my wig is still pretty tangled, pretty matted, but at least it's clean now. Um, so when we do our brushing and styling out video, what I'll do is I'll show you how to create a uh, basically a no tear spray um, out of some conditioner and water that will help you work through all these knots and leave your wig still feeling fresh and smooth. In the meantime though, um, what you can do for the drying out process is you can either set your wig on a towel, on a counter, or in a space where it will not be bothered or disturbed to let it dry. Um, you don't want to lay it flat. Alternatively, you can do what I'm about to do here. Sorry if you get motion sick, everybody. Behold. And it will just dry there. So next, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna start on uh, washing the extension or hair clip ends as well. So I'll go ahead and show you how to take those out um, from their clips, and then we'll go ahead and throw them in the same washing solution that we did before. This up with our water. Fabric softener. And baby shampoo. And swish it around a bit. So, next up we have one of these clip, ah, a clip here. So what you're gonna wanna do, make sure that I get this on camera here, is you're going to want to remove the clip. See how there's a net on the inside here? Little net? You're gonna wanna remove this net out of here. So go ahead, most of these will have like a little knot or elastic cord. Go ahead and remove that out. And then you're just gonna pull it off. What I often do is I will retie this just in a loose slip knot. There, spread this out just a little bit. There we go. And then just tie it a little bit so that you don't lose the elastic ends. And then once again, submerge. I have two of these, so you'll watch me struggle again with the next one.
So let's go ahead and let this wait for another, I'd say, 5-10 minutes again. And then we'll rinse it out and uh, we will hook these back up. Uh, I'm probably going to hang them on a hanger or something and once again let them drip in my bathtub. So I will see you in a few minutes. <sighs> okay, so we're back again. first and then we're going to go ahead and drain this. And then it stays out one at a time. see here um, I'm just taking it from this I don't know if that's necessarily the best thing to do but it works and is convenient for me so we're gonna take our wonderful lovely things that are hanging up here and I'm gonna probably put them here oh if I can get this there we go to stick so I just have everything all hanging up here in the bathtub, letting it drip dry. Um, this will probably take, I don't know, I'm gonna say roughly like, probably at least 12 hours to dry. Um, so I will go ahead and add more footage when I uh, am done drying everything and I'll see you tomorrow morning. So don't be alarmed if I'm wearing a totally different outfit. All right, so everyone, I'm back and uh, we have finished our wig drying process so let me show it to you real quick it's nice and soft it smells really nice too i mean i like this i like the smell of fabric softener don't judge me um but uh so something that we'll have to do next is uh get this on a wig head make some conditioning spray and um, finish up the process of styling it and uh, getting it back to its former glory. So, uh, I will make a secondary video for that one. We'll take a look at it in our next one. In the meantime, feel free, um, if you want to start working through what you have, um, please feel free to just either finger comb through, like I'm doing here, look at this, petting, mm, petting, mm. Um, or use something like a, uh, big comb like something like this will work out nicely um, and go from the bottom up rather than the top down or you're going to pull out most of your fibers. Uh, so I will go ahead and I'll see you in our next video. Bye!